wanted to come on here and, and, and just talk to everybody on a just a, a chill level. You know, I have been having some things on my mind here lately and I figured I would come on here and share them with y'all because, hell, you know, somebody may be able to feel what I'm talking about. So, you know, here I am. I'm running up on 35, right? I'm about to tap 35 on the goddamn show to give it a hug here in a second. I'm almost 35 years old. That means I've existed for almost three and a half decades out here in these streets, basically. And somehow still, I feel like something ain't, you know, something ain't right. You know, still, it doesn't matter what happens. Because in this society, what it'll teach you and what it'll show you is it'll give you achievements and goals that you're supposed to meet in order to make you happy. That you all, there's like a checklist of happiness. You know, you get you a house, you, you know, get you a mate, have you some kids. There's, there's a checklist that, of happiness for you, right? And it's like, to me, no matter what, something always seems wrong. Always, no matter what. I mean, I have love for my children and I focus on that love for my children a lot to even give this reality purpose to me. I focus on the love I have for my children and the passion I have for being there for them as they grow up and as they progress throughout life. I focus on that. That helps get me through. You know, that helps me push through. As some, uh, uh, some of you may use that terminology. That helps me out a lot. But I realized that if it wasn't for my kids, I mean, what would, you know, what would, what would this reality be to me? Because it already bothers me uh, at a high rate. It bothers me no matter what. I don't care if you married, you got some kids, you're making you some money. You should still be able to look out in this world and shake your fucking head at some of the bullshit that goes on out here. And more so than that is for me is being one of the few people who looks out here in the world and sees the bullshit that's going on and scorns it. Like, I hate it. It bothers me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it bothers me what goes on in this world, how people are treated all over the world. The type of shit that happens. It bothers the fuck out of me. And I know for a fact that... Yeah, I don't know whether it's it, it can't be me, you know, that, that's because when you get to this point, you, you kind of look at your, yourself like, well, is it me? Is it something wrong with me that's, you know, that I'm even feeling like this? I mean, I got everything. I mean, I have no real reason to be would be unhappy, to be unfulfilled. Um, but still and yet something's wrong. Something is wrong. I can always feel that. That's always in the back of my mind. And I, I, I can't be the only one. No matter how good things may be going, you know, ain't nothing getting turned off. Bills getting paid. You healthy. Kids safe. They healthy. Everything is going good. Mama doing okay. Everything's good. And still in the back of my mind, something's wrong. And it'll never leave me. It never leaves me like it's, it's almost, you know, terrorizing me at this point, terrorizing my mind as to, you know, do I need to get some fucking help? Maybe like could a therapist maybe help me out with this. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with me? There's something always wrong. Something is wrong no matter what state of mind I'm in. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Even when I'm laughing, even when things are comical to me, something is wrong. And it's in the back of my mind at all times, no matter what. Now, does that make me a hateful person? No. It doesn't make me hateful in my heart. I do scorn this life sometimes. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I scorn the entire world sometimes. That's how big this shit gets in my head. Well, I'll, the entire world. I hate how this shit is set up. I do. I look around and I try to figure out what the fuck my purpose is in this bullshit. What, what am I supposed to do with this? This is what you gave me to work with. This is what I got pushed out of the womb into. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Even if my heart is righteous and my intentions are pure. What am I supposed to do with this? It's wrong. It's set up wrong. 
from beginning to end is wrong. Even when we get high off of what we call happiness or what we perceive as happiness, after we get through hitting that high, you know, smoking that, that happiness blunt, after we get through hitting that, it's still in the back of my mind anyway. Some people can stay high on this. Some people have the ability to ride that high. They've got their blinders on. It is them out go, just moving forward, going out here, going along with the program just mechanically. They don't see us mechanically, but mechanically going along with the program, and they're able to be comfortable with that. It doesn't bother them. They just continue to work hard to achieve. And I don't know. You know, like, it's always in the back of my mind, no matter what. It doesn't cause me to be depressed. I know some people suffer from depression. It's a real thing for people. It doesn't cause me to be depressed. But it does make me feel uneasy. You know, my mind is it's uneasy. It's, it's not really at rest, you know, because it just doesn't matter how okay my life is. I know, you know, every given second, you know, somebody's life is some bullshit. And that bothers me, you know, like that causes me to not, my mind can't be at rest because I'm thinking about, you know, everything else in the world that's going on. Every other situation that somebody may be facing out here. And it bothers me. And I feel um, awkward about it even, you know, sometimes. Because, you know, I express these opinions to people when they're talking about a little dumb shit. And they just be like, dude, you know, why so serious, basically? <laughs> why so serious? I'm like, shit, man. I don't, you know, I don't know. You know, I just feel like if I'm if I belong here then my mind should be at ease with everybody else's. You know, like, if, if I fit here, then I should be okay. This existence should be fine to me. If I was built to, you know, understand this system, understand this program, and just operate in it in a functional way, I would think that wouldn't be hard for me to do. If I was built for this shit, if I was, you know, if I was supposed to fit in perfectly into this uh, jigsaw puzzle that they call life, like if I'm, I'm, I don't fit nowhere, you know, I, I just don't fit. I do. Um, I try not to harbor negative feelings about it. I do. Um, I, I try to focus on you know small things small positive things but it i mean it's still a constant this is something you have to train your mind to do or it will drive you insane you gotta train your mind to you know still keep pushing forward still keep push, look for something positive out here that's going on me again i focus on my kids without them i don't know where the fuck i would be right now i don't not gonna lie to y'all I don't know where I would be, what I would be doing. They thinking about them keeps me at least somewhat, you know, grounded, you know. Um, but I still feel odd. Even when I look at my kids sometimes, I'm like, what the fuck did I get y'all into? And now I feel obligated to be there every step of the way. Because you're going to need me to see it, you know. I don't want them. It's almost like I want them to be. <laughs> it's almost like I want them to feel what I feel, them to not fit too. It's almost like I'm passing down this uncomfortable, constantly nagging in the back of my mind. I'm passing this down to my kids. And I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but I feel like, you know, the happy bubble, it's, it's just not for me. You know, it doesn't fit me. It doesn't look like I'm supposed to be in there just smiling and waving throughout this life. You know, it's, it's not, I'm not supposed to be there. I don't see me in that situation. And, um, but I know it's not just me that feels this way. It's not just me that looks at, you know, your kids like, what in the fuck did I get you into? 
do I apologize to you? Do I apologize? Because I got to teach you how to navigate through this bullshit. So that little, uh, I want my kids to be aware, but I know to be aware equals, you know, countless hours of mental, uh, mental turmoil. Like I know it, I know what it does because I mean, I live it. So I know, you know, I've been set up hours and hours on end, like what the fuck, you know, and shit just keep dropping in my mind. Just keep like, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this shit? Like, seriously. What the fuck is this? Gosh, I can see what it is because you can just pay attention and you see what it is. But then it's like, okay, well, why is this? Like, okay, well, even if you get past the what is this? Okay, I see what it is. Well, now why? Why is this? What is what? What the fuck is the point of this? What the fuck? You know, that's that's I get like that often, oftentimes, and I have to bring myself down. And, you know, the fact that I'm like, well, why ain't everybody mad? You know, then I get to that point. Well, why the fuck isn't there a, just an outcry from every single, damn near everybody? Like, what is, what is it? How, how are we able to go through here and just be, you know, cogs in a machine? That's it. Just rolling with the times, rolling. You know, how these kids get you a, a spouse, get you a house, you know, get you a car to, you know, maybe a pet, and, you know, eh, everything should be good. <sighs> mm -mm. It's not for me. That's not for me. And this may be my would be cross to bear, you know, and. And I'm not trying to put this on everybody, but I know it can't just be me that feels completely out of place in this in this reality. Completely. I want to come in here and have these conversations to remind people that you are not. I don't want you feeling alone because I know that's one of the feelings that comes along with this. Um, with that, just constantly in the back of your mind, like, what the fuck? I know that it can make you feel alone, but you're not. You are not alone. I'm asking myself, why the fuck to? Every day, what is this? Everything, every everything that I observe, I'm like, well, what is this? You know, perfect. Even when you're just driving through traffic, man, just being a cog in a machine, on your way to work, on your way to lunch break. And, back home and back to work again and or maybe you got some kids to pick up and get them to their functions and doctor's appointments and you know like everybody has these same stories like this is the existence now you may come in on different ends of the existence of course you have this money which I still question money all the time like what the fuck why the fuck you know <laughs> after you get the what the fuck why the fuck this this situation and you could be born into a household of people who don't got it like <laughs> that it's just a goddamn you know i don't know what the fuck the process and the choosing process is but it's just like well this it's a broken reality it has to be because the the start the starting point is different something something's wrong with that why the fuck do people start off different? These are type of shits that just it just burns my mind sometimes. Like that don't make sense. That don't make any sense. But you're not alone. I want you to know that. I want everybody to know that. And um, you don't. You're not the only person that feels out of place. I feel like this constantly. Um, it's always happening. It's no matter what's going on, I still feel it. Yeah, I can be smoking, you know, some of the best weed, you know, and still, this my mind is still. I'm on some other shit in my head, so yeah, I can never uh, escape it. I really can't. I can't escape it. Um, but that don't need. That doesn't mean that 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 you should sacrifice your light for it. Don't compromise the two. Still be light. 
still be able to bring light, shed light. Being light is, to me, that's the, that's the purpose. You're supposed to spread light. That's what you're supposed to do. And um, still having the ability to do so um, while still knowing what the fuck is, like, what the fuck is going on out here? And why aren't we questioning these things that happen more? Things that we think are, you know, basic and automatic, like APR and, you know, interest rates and credit and everything that we look at is just normal, even down to the money, the dollar, the, you know, like everything is just like, what the fuck? Everything. But that's all I want to say, man. I know um, in lieu of my other channel being deleted, um, one of the videos that I made was I feel um, out of place in this world. I always feel out of place in this world. And um, I still feel the same way, you know. And I thought maybe in age and I would start feeling better. Nah, I don't. I do not. I don't feel better at all. Um, but I knew that with YouTube deleting my whole channel, I figured this would be at least part two. And I'll continue to do videos like this sporadically um, to let people know that you are not alone. And um, I don't want you to be discouraged. I don't want you to continue to be light and spread light no matter what. Even what's on your mind. Ask these questions. I do. I mean, ask these questions to people. Put something on people's minds. Something different, you know. Uh, you can do that. You can do that. But um, that's all I want to say this time, y'all. Mad love. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what it is. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.